Hey, what's going on, everybody? Echo Side Fiend here, back once again. And today I'm jumping up on here with an unboxing to do. Now, this came yesterday, uh, but I had some plans after work. I had kind of a long day at work, and then I had some plans afterwards, so I did not have a chance to get to it yesterday. So, I'm gonna open that up here today. Now, as most of you probably know, last weekend was the sixth annual Astronomicon. Uh, I attended Saturday. I usually just attend like one day, uh, a couple times, I think. Actually, only once, I think, uh, me and uh, my buddy Joe. No, twice. Uh, me and Joe stayed overnight. Uh, but this this uh, past year, or this past weekend, I just went uh, Saturday, which is usually what I do. And um, Friday night, there was comics available of Blaze You Dead Homie. I believe they're just going to be a one-shot, uh, like just a one-issue. And they were releasing them Friday night. And I think they were only putting out like 300 copies. So I knew they'd be gone uh, real quick, and I wasn't going to be able to make it Friday night. So I had someone pick one up for me, and that's what's in here. Um, I'm also, I will be doing a uh, pickups video of, of things that I picked up myself and a, a small review. Uh, I'll probably try to get that, and then I, I was going to try to do it this weekend. I might not get to it till next weekend, but uh, I also will be jumping on uh, Joe's channel, Michigan Geek Scene. And doing a review with him now however he was not able to go this year he had a uh, not a major emergency but a, a slight emergency come up and he just could not afford to get away for the weekend so he still hooked me up with a press pass that was really cool and then he just asked that i uh come on his channel and uh, do a review so he could uh, post it to all his viewers and uh, so i'll be doing that and as soon as we do that and he gets that all edited i'll put it in my community uh tab like i usually do so Anyway, let's get to this, because I'm excited to see this comic. Um, this is from Ryan, a.k.a. Fear the Beard. He uh, picked it up for me Friday, and then he forgot to bring it Saturday, so he was thinking he would run up, run back and get it. And as I'll get to in my review, the parking was absolutely fucking horrendous this year at Astronomicon. Just awful. And he was like, dude, I don't want to leave and lose my spot. And I'm like, I totally understand. So uh, he was just like, I'll just send it to you if that's cool. And, and of course, it worked and uh, it came yesterday. So I thank you so much, Ryan, for uh, picking this up for me and uh, sending it. And uh, let's go ahead and tear this open. So I'm excited to see this. Uh, I've been wanting to uh, look through it pretty much since they announced or, or uh, you know revealed, I guess I should say, the art. And uh, so really excited to see this. So. Let's go ahead and get this open. All right. So, oh, there is a gift in here. If you have it, use it in a giveaway. If not, it's yours. So, much love. All right. Cool. Well, what did we get here? So, all right. We got a shirt. <laughs> nice. Adam Cole, baby. Hell yeah. I don't have, uh, I don't, I have a few, um, uh, what were they called in, uh, <laughs> why am I spacing out of the, uh, uh, Undisputed Era. I've got a couple Undisputed Era shirts, but no Adam Cole shirts. And, uh, so it is extra large, so, uh, I should be able to wash that, shrink it just a little bit, because I generally wear large, but I'll, I'll wear extra large. So, awesome. Thanks, man. Again, do not have that, so I will definitely be rocking that. So, thank you so much. And... Here is the comic. Let's go ahead. Oh, there's something else in here, too. Look at that. And uh, Twisted uh, Nickel Bag. I do have that. I don't know if mine is uh, autographed, though. But, so I picked that up last year. So thank you. And uh, yeah, maybe I, I do have one of these already. So maybe I could do a giveaway with... Uh, I think I don't think mine is autographed, though. So I could do a giveaway with that, maybe. So anyway, here is the comic. They did autograph them. I was hoping that he could get one without an autograph and then I could have uh, Blaze sign it. But he said they pretty much, um, you know, uh, uh, signed it right at the table, like when you walked up. So, so there's the cover. It's very, uh, just a very quick comic. Um, like I said, I think it's just going to be a one shot. So there's the cover. There's the back. So yeah, artwork in here is awesome. Of course, it's by uh, Source Point, who does all the Haunted Highons, which I... Uh, not even a big comic reader. I grew up as a comic reader, but I'm not really so much anymore. But I love those. They're really cool. So, but uh, yeah, kind of, there's not very many pages in here, so I can quick go through it. So, but yeah, the artwork is super cool. Definitely going to read through this as soon as I'm done here. So hopefully there's not a lot of glare on there. But, 
but yeah this is really cool definitely glad to have this in my collection i've got you know the the original haunted high end series i don't have all the individual issues i have a few and then i bought the graphic novel and then i do have the entire uh curse of the green book because i bought all those last year and then uh, I did order the um, graphic novel of that, too. Like, the it's going to be leather-bound, probably imitation leather, I would assume. But um, I did uh, order that. It has not come yet. So um, I know they said they weren't going to be shipping till March, but I haven't even got any type of shipping notification. Uh, but Ryan did say he talked to somebody, I think maybe Dirk Manning at Astronomicon, and he was there saying probably within the next couple weeks uh, at that time. So, but anyway, definitely glad to have this. Thank you so much, Ryan. Uh, fear the uh, fear the effing beard, I think is usually what he goes by. So uh, thank you for the extras, too. That's awesome. I'll definitely be rocking this. I love Adam Cole. I've been a fan of him since, like, Pro Wrestling Gorilla. I was following him. So definitely glad to have that in my shirt collection. And, uh, and again, thank you so much for picking this up for me and uh, sending it. I really appreciate it. And I can't wait to hang out with you at another show or Astro or whatever. Hopefully Hollow Wicked. Hopefully you'll make it to Hollow Wicked. So, uh but yeah, that's all I got for this time. Like I said, uh, keep an eye out. I will have uh, a pickups video. I, I might get to it today, uh, but uh, or maybe tomorrow. But if if I don't get to it uh, this weekend, it'll definitely be uh, this week or next weekend. But I'll have a pickups video. I didn't pick a whole lot up at Astor this year, uh, trying to keep it uh, to a minimum with the whole housing situation that I'm going to have uh, coming up. Uh, I have actually decided to not buy a house at this time. Uh, it was just a little bit more than I was uh, expecting. With the in not, not really the price, but the my interest rate was going to be higher. And our apartment here is only raising the rent $50. So even when my roommate moves out, which she still is in June, um, it's going to only not, it's going to increase my rent a few hundred dollars, but not, not a ton. And it'll be a lot more affordable than buying a house at this time. So I'm thinking maybe in the next year or two, I'll uh, look for, a house or a condo, which is what I was always thinking about. But, um, so yeah, just, um, just trying to watch my money and, and I'm picking up any extra hours at work and, and all that. So, but, um, anyway, yeah, that's pretty much all I got for this time. And, um, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. So <laughs> I'm kind of repeating myself, but as always, everybody, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for supporting. This is Echo Side Fiend and I will catch you in the next one. Too sweet.